I'm Quinn Smith and I'm here to share my personal experience related to self-motivation which is a very vital factor for a personal growth. Maybe I'm quite small to educate you in these regards but I believe motivation is a common fact that everyone nowadays talks about as seeks. It was in 2018. I was selected to an inter-district cricket match and it was when I was just nine years old. Cricket was my passion, but by that time I have only learned the basics. But something made my coach send me for that match despite thinking about my age and non-experience to play a match. And believe me, I was the youngest among them all. Our team was elected to bat first and I was asked to play three down. I was so nervous as I have not played a match before and I was panicked thinking whether I could score runs or be in the wicket. I was waiting until my coach gives me any advice on what should I do or how should I plan. I noticed him giving other players similar instructions but he didn't tell me a word. I was worried but I had no choice rather than waiting. Here comes my turn. I suited up and I was ready. Then suddenly, the wicket goes off and I was asked to get on the ground. I was furious and felt butterflies in my stomach. My legs were shivering, my arms started to sweat and my eyes were blurred. But at the same time, I heard my colleagues screaming, Come on, Poen, you can do it. Then someone said, Whack the ball, Poen. I was ready. And there he was, a 15-year-old fast bowler right in front of me with the ball. I was left with no choice. I made up my mind, took my bat and positioned myself. He bowled a few balls over me and I managed to face five of his balls, but my wicket was taken with the last ball of the over. I then got out with zero runs. I had nothing else to do but leave the pitch steadily. But as I, walking, as I was walking up to the pavilion, I still heard my colleagues screaming, Come on, Poen, and well done. My eyes were filled with tears. I don't know, was it for the shame of losing the game in front of all, or was it for the shame of not scoring runs? But it was a blend of several feelings. However, I went up to my coach and said, Sir, I'm sorry I couldn't score runs and I couldn't fulfill your hopes. You know what his reply was? He said, Puen, you read so amazing and I'm proud of you. He tapped on my shoulder and gave me a high five. I was thinking, what did he do right now? Then as I looked around, I saw my colleagues who were elder than me and got much more experience to play a match, showing me thumbs ups and I did not know what they were doing. Then suddenly, I saw my parents walking up to me. I was scared if they would say anything bad about my performance, but do you know what they said? My mom said, Poen, you faced a fast bowler and you're only up to his hip. Laughing, she said, you are too small to face these players and your confidence was amazing and unbelievable. Then my dad said, your performance was excellent and I'm proud of you. After that, they both said, Puen, I'm so proud of your guts. Keep it up. Then they were so happy and I noticed tears in my mom's eye. I felt like I'm a loser. I'm stupid and I gave up playing cricket as I left the pitch with tears. But when I left the ground, I felt courage, hope and pleasure with my future with cricket. It was a three hour journey back home and the only thing I heard was good and positive things about my performance and courage. I decided to set a target to be like legend Kumar Sangakkara who is my inspiration and college old boy. I did not know anything what they did it was called motivation but I did know that it was a support given to me by all around me who loves me. A few months later, at a match, I had a severe arm fracture. 
Then I was hospitalized for three days and two pins were inserted into my elbow during surgery. I was home for one month, no school, nothing. Then when my coach came to the hospital to see me, he told, if you have a fractured arm, you could bowl like the best spinner in the world, Murali Dharan. Then my parents said, see, now you can bowl like Murali. What a motivation even after breaking my arm. The pain was so severe, but I bared it as since I had told I could bowl like Murali. And do you know what else I got for breaking my arm? My uncle flew from UK and it was a surprise visit. Do you know what he gifted me? He gifted me the latest Kokubura bat and glove, which was my dream to have. But he laid one condition. I should never give up and I should continue playing cricket. Dear all, take my story and learn to make all challenging and painful situations into positive ones and learn to be a self-motivator like me. Thank you.